And farmers across Korea felt some much needed relief in the form of rain over the weekend, but it was hardly enough to get things back on track. Global weather patterns have been causing a lot of uh, unpredictable weather here in Korea, and the prolonged drought is drying up resources. Our Lee Ju Young reports. The continued drought across the country has his poultry farm owner worried sick. He says his chicks are barely getting by with the seven tons of water provided once a day. And he's even more concerned as the day to ship them out approaches. When that day comes, they'll need twice the amount of water. I'm most worried about chicks dying in large numbers since they have no water to drink. As you can see, I even bought my own water tank. The situation is not so much different at this fish farm. The owner says he's been having to pick out some 100 dead fish per day with his underground water supply dried up and arid conditions showing no signs of improvement. He says he has no choice but to share water with other farmers given the dire situation and the quality of his trout has dropped so much that they're not sellable on the market. Fish farms can't stand a single hour without water. Farmland can go for days. But as trout is a cold water fish, it's hard for them to survive even without just a few hours of fresh water. Experts say the aridity in Korea is mainly due to the warm phase of El Nino, which typically brings floods for countries in Latin America, but can cause long dry spells in Asian and East African countries. Authorities predict the drought in Korea will drag out to as long as next January. The government has agreed to pour in some 56 million U.S. dollars to develop countermeasures and offer support for damages caused by the long dry spell. Lee Ji-young, Arirang News.